Hi, welcome to Conversations Matter with me, Heather Criswell. I wanted to share with you today a conversation with a friend first that sparked a conversation in my own head and then sparked a conversation with my dad that has passed on um, on the other side. So this conversation started with a friend of mine who is struggling with some weight loss issues and we were talking about some of the strategies I've been using for the past few months to um, basically get healthy and not so much lose weight, but be super healthy in my body. And after a pretty life-altering event, I realized that it was really important for me to focus on my health because my mom and dad both uh, died very young. My mom died at 52, my dad died at 61, both of um, pretty severe health complications from diabetes, heart conditions, kidney problems, you name it. Um, and so, um, and all of my grandparents had some other issues as well. So it was really important for me to focus in on this health because I've got a seven-year-old boy um, that needs his mama and a world that I really wanna share more uh, thoughts with. So nonetheless, we were talking and I kept saying, I'm not going to be like my parents. I am not going to be like my parents. I am not going to die young. I am not going to die unhealthy and super sick. And I kept saying it over and over again. And something felt really wrong about saying it over and over like that. And I was really kind of angry and I think still angry about them leaving and the whole nine yards. So this morning, I had this conversation in my head with myself, because those are the best conversations. Um, and I was saying to myself, like, why were you so angry? And I had this moment where I was like, stop fighting how they lived and honor who they were. And so I said to myself, you know what? I'm not going to say anymore. I'm not going to be like my parents and die young. What I'm going to say is... I'm going to honor them and I'm going to live the life they deserve to live. Healthy, happy, able, walking around, free from disease. That's the life I'm going to live. That's how I'm going to breathe on this planet. And so right as I had this like total beautiful conversation in my head that was this epiphany, um, I, I promise you, as soon as I said it, my dad's favorite song came on and it's called Gloria. It's, um, I don't even know who it's by. Um, I don't even know who it's by. I'd have to look, but it goes Gloria, Gloria. And honest to God, like ask my husband, this is his favorite song. And he'd turn the radio up every single time the song came on and up and down, up and down. And I just started laughing because it's like, I got to talk to him and say, you know what? I honor you both and I love you and I'm going to live the life you deserve to live. And it's like he was saying thank you, or at least that's awesome. So, um, so think about the conversations that we have with our friends and strangers and then how those conversations affect ourselves and maybe even talking to the other side like I did in my book, Wise Talk from the Other Side. Um, it's all about the conversations I've had with all my family members that have passed on. And they're really beautiful conversations. And I, I had this peace between me and my parents now that I can live in beauty and in grace and in health and honor them and not be so mad that they left and also not be so angry about the disease that they both had. Just moving forward in super strong health. That's what I'm looking for. So, and to honor them. So I hope you have beautiful conversations with yourself and with maybe those that have passed on and, um, and with the friends in your life, because you never know what a conversation sparks and how it changes you. So conversations matter and conversations rooted in love change everything. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Bye.